Hey there everybody, it's your friend Megan Coulter here, and today I'm going to play Resident Evil 3. Now, I haven't played this game in a while, so... So today, the game's about... It's about zombies, and you pretty much gotta do the hard stuff... And all that. So. I'm just going to skip the uh, cut scenes and all that because they're pretty long. Farewell. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. Oh, okay. Alright, so... I ain't shooting no, shooting no zombies. I'm gonna run. So anyway, guys. Oh shit. Oh snap. It's a good thing I got out of there. <laughs> I was almost food. Okay. Hmm. Exactly, we gotta get out of here. Wow, okay. I know you just see on top of my bed, but those are pillows and stuff. Okay, so, um... Now that he locked himself in a container, what we're going to do... Hold on a second. Okay, so... There's nothing back here, so we're going to head back. And, well, not back outside yet, because... Okay, so I need I need a key for that. So the key should be somewhere... I think somewhere in here. Will you take the warehouse key? Yes. Okay, so now we found the warehouse key. Um, now, gunpowders, you could pretty much make anything out of gunpowder. It's like shotgun shells, flame rounds, grenade rounds, all that. So what I normally do, like you can make handgun bullets out of this. And that's why I just made handgun bullets. I don't... Normally using handgun, but it's it's whatever. I'm gonna take a shotgun with me because hold on, let's see what else I need in here. Uh, 
I'm not sure what I need because obviously I don't know and I'm gonna say that's pretty much it because I'm taking a shotgun might as well just go with a shotgun Okay, guys. Okay, so anyway, we'll just keep going, and we're going to pro we're going to reach the uh, police station because that's where uh, what's his name shows up. And we'll pretty much like, you know what? I'm gonna say like, oh, I might have dirty drawers, blah blah blah. <laughs> and you know what? Um, <laughs> I honestly, you know, I don't clean up my drawers. The reason why that is is because I don't like to donate anything. <laughs> so I pretty much like, you know, ow, that hurt. The reason why I don't, I donate my clothes at some point, but not all the time, guys. Oh, shit. Somebody just ran out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any more cuss words, because... Get out of here. Okay, so that is light. That's like oil, lighter oil. And we're going to take that with us because we don't know what we're going to run to later on, later on in the game. Now, this is kind of similar to um, Resident Evil 2 because... Um, because I have Resident Evil 2 and I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm not going to get rid of my game. Somebody just died. Uh, town map, okay. So, anyway, guys. So, I just moved down to Meadville on October 31st. Um, the reason why I moved down to Meadville was because my staff was telling me what to do with my money. I can pretty much do whatever I want. So. Hey! Come on, you guys. Holy shit, I hate load. There you go. I was going to say, I did not want to die because, oh, you know what? I should have brought my magnum with me, my magnum gun, but I can always get that on the way back, or I can always get that later, but, um, yeah, there's, like, difficulty puzzles, and it's, like, I don't know, so difficult. This can be hard at times. Actually, we're going to go ahead and grab the lighter over here. Combine that. 
And talk to him. Brad, why isn't someone doing something about this? No one's trained to handle this kind of situation. What could anyone do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so... What, what does he mean by there's no escape? There's always a way out. But I think what he means is you cannot escape from the nemesis. Because now the nemesis... I've run into him like a, like a couple of times. And there's no way that you could kill it. I mean, you can kill it. But wait for the end of the game on what happens to the nemesis. So the nemesis, that's what's coming up next. So just gotta be mindful about the man. Uh, can't pronounce it. The nemesis. Hmm. Yeah, so, alright, so now, we're going to go ahead and continue on our, on our journey, and we're going to see about the nemesis, or in a police station, whatever. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Blow you guys up. Let's see, um, go ahead and burn that. Alrighty, get off me. Alrighty. Photo A. September 27th. Okay. I hope I don't... Well, we're going to run into some dogs. And then we're going to run into the Laker. So... Whatever items I have, I'm going to go ahead and drop them off. Because I'm not going to need them. I'm going to save that lighter because I'm not going to need that lighter anytime soon. So, drop this off. Uh, I'm going to drop off that herb as well. Oh, good. I got grenade rounds. So, the grenade rounds I'm going to save for later in the game because um, I'm not going to use the grenade rounds anytime soon. But if I find a grenade launcher, I may or may not use it. I'll just use what I have in this game. Okay, so now that we're in the police station, now we might run into Brad, but Brad may not may not last in this in this 
in this one. He won't last long. Okay, so now, we're not going to fight with the, well, we're going to fight with the monster, but we're not going to shoot him. The trick is, we're we'll just picking up this uh, card case, because it has Brad's ID card in there. And we'll go ahead and use it to see what the code is to the safe. See, I know bits and pieces of this game, but I don't know a whole lot. Because some herbs up over here. Um, the game is about it is escaping um, Raccoon City. Okay, so now we'll combine these. Um, Alright, so now we're going to use that. Check. And that's how you get your ID. Just so we don't have to go all the way around the building just to find your ID. ID card. Wait, what? Where is it? O five one three. Okay, I got. I got to remember that. O five one three. Okay, so now we might run into him later too. You stop aiming the other way. Alright. Finally killed them. Alrighty. If you want to know what I'm doing, I'm just straightening out my necklaces real, quick, real fast. That's why I stopped for a minute. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not quit playing, but playing, but I'm just um uh, go ahead and fly through this. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and go through this door and this is the part where it gets a little tricky sometimes because you have to collect two gems to go past the uh, other gate. So we're going to hold on to that for later and use up one of the herbs because I'm running out of space. Um, was it oh five one three zero five one three? So now that's a that's a stars key. Well, I call it the album key, but that's the key to the stars office. Alright, so now, what we're going to do, once again, we'll go ahead and go to the item box, once again. Oh, 
What's this over here? All right, so now we're gonna drop off this ID card that I picked up off of the uh, dead guy outside. And we're gonna drop off this gem because we're not gonna need it anytime soon. And probably later on, later on in the game, we'll probably meet up with a guy named Carlos because, uh, yeah, we'll just meet up with the guy named Carlos later. So now we're going to go up these stairs and hopefully I find a grenade launcher this time because last time I didn't find it, but hopefully I find it like this time. Alright, so we'll yeah, I hear dumb zombies. Okay, so now we'll just keep on going. And what it is, it's like when they came out with uh, Resident Evil 4, uh, Leon. Leon S. Kennedy did survive in the horror, so that's why he plays in number four. A uh, lockpick. I'm going to need that. Alrighty. Oh, great. Finally found the, uh, grenade launcher. Now, that, now, the grenade launcher has pretty decent range, but I'm not going to use that anytime soon, so. Alright, so let's get out of here. Somebody's sending a message towards... Somebody's trying to send a message. Oh. Hold on, guys. Okay, so now, all right, guys, I'm back. Sorry. So now, now we just got like a message. Oh, can't see there. Okay. So now that we just got a message from Con, Connor, Connor. Can't pronounce his name, but uh, <laughs> he sent out a message. Well, whatever the message was. Now it's time for the nemesis because he's going to be coming through the window once we hear something break. There's the nemesis. Here's how he just comes at me. I hate when he does that with the rocket launcher. S 
all he all he's looking for a stars team. No. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, so... Before the nemesis does come back alive. Actually, I, he will be back again, like, later in the game. Or, pro I think it's later on, or something. I don't know when the nemesis come back, but he will actually be back around. Again. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the lock pick on something, but I need to drop off that uh, grenade launcher because I don't need it anytime soon. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna backtrack because I'm not going all the way. I'm not gonna go all the way around. So anyway, guys, let me know in the comments if you really like this game called Resonant Evil Three. I need more shotgun ammo too because I'm running low on it. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to use the lock pick. Um, I'm going to keep that lock pick with me because, um, we're going to meet up with another character. Oh shit, not them lookers again. I don't need handgun ammo. I might need blue herbs probably like later in the game, but I know there are poisonous spiders in this. Be running into some dogs. And we might run into some more dogs and like liquors and stuff in this game. Yeah, um, oh yeah, that, we need that cord for later too as well, for when we get the, uh, car going. Um, we're gonna save that for later. Thank you. 
Okay, so wait, I need to go back in there. I hate these dogs, honestly. Yeah, we're, we're gonna run into the uh, nemesis, like, after I run into, like, another star member. I forget who, but... We're gonna run into some lookers now. Oh yeah, I'm definitely taking that because shit, here's another one. Okay, so now hold on. Okay, so okay, we need a battery for that, so that will not come to like later later in the game. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and just keep on going and then we'll find out what's going on. Like that's the guy right there. We're gonna run hit run into him soon. Sorry there was no intro, but I will say the intro again next time. Okay, so... Yeah, this is the part where, where, um, where the guy shows up. So, hopefully he might have some answers and whatnot. And that trap door does lead to the basement. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's Army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad and we didn't land it. Okay, so we're not going to fight him. We're just going to run... We're going to run into the basement. But yeah. There is a way out down here. Yeah, which is up there. Here's a ventilation hall. It seems like to be large enough for a person to enter. 
Yes. So yeah, so there is a way out. Trust me, then help us. Think about it. Oh, wow. I've always had problems with them, but believe it or not, there's nothing wrong with being partners. And that means the nemesis is back, too. Okay, so now the lockpick will probably be no longer be used. So now we're going to running out of freaking space. Let's see, let's see. Should never dropped off that other gunpowder because I'm. Um, I'm going to need shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo, people. Now it keeps on making grenade rounds. All right. Let's see now. I don't know what that crank does, but I know it's used for something. I need to get that other gem as well. I'm not fighting him because I wasted all my ammo just to fight him. Drago back. Drago back. Oh, oh well, it doesn't hurt just to go around. <laughs> Maybe smart, but I am. I have to write no zombies in here. Nope. Sim. I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, so now I'm just going to run for the rest of my life, guys. Run for my life. So, yeah. He'll find me in here, though. But I know 
that I'm not gonna get um I'm not gonna get killed. Run, run, run for my life. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Oh, wow. Okay. So now... So this is the green gem I'm going to pick up. Yep, found a green gem. I'm not going to pick those up because, yeah, I may need them. But the only thing I hate about them is, like, is where you make shot, well, not shotgun ammo, but handgun ammo. Oh, that scared me. Okay, so now I'm going to use that crank, but I don't know what it's for, though. I'm curious on what it's for. Yeah, the nemesis will follow you wherever you go. So I'm going to use these two gems. Okay, so now... Okay, so now, now that we're out of there, finally, we're going to use this rusty old crank that I found. It might be used for the, um, I guess that one shutter. We have to use the wrench, I guess. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's probably for this. Yeah, doesn't work. So, we're going to have to use the wrench for it. And we're going to meet up with a guy named uh, Mikhail. So, yeah. Alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the game of Resident Evil 3. Anyway, anyway guys. I love you all to death. Don't forget to keep it rigid and keep it awesome. Drive safely out there. And I will see you on my next video. And I will be back with this break. Bye. Peace.